Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. How, how early on did, like, that relationship, or, you know, even a relationship like Future come around, like, uh, like, being from Atlanta, you just, if you a real Atlanta zone shit, nigga, you gonna be in the mix. Like, you grew up already seeing Future. Like, if you in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Like, my folks from Kirkwood, so it's like, shit, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, he gonna pop up, he gonna get his dread done in the hood, he gonna, you know what I'm saying? This certain shit, like, or another person who right there too, they don't really, he don't really care about that, you know what I'm saying? He taught me too in the game, like it ain't no peaks to this shit, so of course he don't feel like there's no peaks, so he still don't come the way from him and do what he do, even though it might be dangerous, you know what I'm saying? So like, that's how that relationship came, just off of a nigga seeing me, you know what I'm saying? To where it was a point in time where it was like, okay, he seen me grow up, I'm, I'm grown now, and it's like, okay, come on, come pull up on me, let's chop it up, like, I wanna teach you something, you know what I'm saying? Like. We get high together and we talk and we talk about real shit bigger than just songs, you feel me? Like, he definitely one of the people who I don't even have to ask nothing for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna do it when he wanna do it and it's gonna be perfect because he ain't no sloppy person, you know what I'm saying? So I, I respect that as a, as an artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for a handout or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is our relationship off the, the heart and the realness, you know what I'm saying? Like, 21, we all grew up together, we in the same, family, crew, and uh, people, so it's like, it's all a respect thing, everybody know, like, shit, he made it from that shit, like, that's the, that's the respect in this shit, like, making it out of this shit and still being a part of it, you know, yeah. like, that's what, that's what I like, yeah. I'm learning from them, so I know when I do make it in this shit, I'm still gonna be there, cause I learn from them, and they do the same thing, you know? Yeah. What's your opinion on, um, cause I feel like, it's kind of like a two-part question, but I feel like right now uh, a hot topic has been like street artists or more so trap artists and they mixing like the music with like the real life shit, you feel me? Like whether yeah. they're speaking on street shit or like taking street shit into social media and shit like that. So yeah. what's your opinion on how you stay level-headed from it? How I stay level-headed from that? Like really that, could, that goes to another part about me learning something for future life. He brought on to me one time, like, you know, he don't be in Atlanta, he stay out the way. So, like, none of that mixed shit come to it. And, like, you don't never hear him rap about nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? So, it show, like, you don't gotta rap about the street shit, none of that other shit to sell. Like, it's still cool, you feel me? Like, how I balance it is, like, I'm there on the daily, so it's like, it's no need for me to talk about really what I'm seeing right in there, because sometimes that shit, like, bad, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't even no point. Like, I feel like rappers really be dumb when they do that, you know what I'm saying? And like, I had to learn first, because if you go like back to my first songs and shit, I'm like, talking about cutting crack, selling dope, blah, 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 blah. but that's really just all I knew. So me learning, I went around with other people and I was like, you know, you're gonna get better as you go experience stuff. So some of the people, it's not even their fault, it's just like, that's all they know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they haven't been on the private jet, the LA and Rodeo and you know what I'm saying around that experience no matter if it was future or if it was just somebody else or NFL player or just anything like Being around that they just know I'm cooking up crack selling dope, you know what I'm saying or I just smoke joke So I'm just I'm talking about killing a rapper or another person I killed in the hood like that's just all they know It ain't they fault, you know, they might not have learned this game yet about Learning to go outside and learn something and then talk about that and that experience, you know, they still right there so it's like, that's really all it is. So my opinion, how I do it, and you know, I just go places. Like, I stay out the mix. Like, even if some do get part, brought upon my name, like, it's gonna get solved, cause I'm not even in the mix on that. So it's like, I'm over here somewhere. So like, you can't even include me into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here trying to learn some, you know what I'm saying? Some other shit, you feel me? That's just how I feel, like, yeah. That's how I balance it, just being out the mix. I don't know.